This documentary contains references to protected groups that may be perceived as offensive. The views expressed do not reflect the beliefs of the producer. This film is intended for educational purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised. To fight is in our DNA! It's in every single one of you! Oh, I'm sorry! Mama having son will be defeated! On July the 27th in London, the largest anti-illegal immigration rally in British history took place. A day that could redefine the future of Britain, yet the media remains largely silent. Are you supporting uh, the Tommy Robinson march today? I am 100%. You're supporting it, and can I ask you the reason why? Because we want our country back. Yeah, so, and you, so you want to close the borders? Yes. Please, my children and my family and that because we just want our country back. Okay. Why not? And I'm sick of just like being on the street and feeling unsafe all the time. And I'm not going to be rude. And it's now nothing to do with food or colour, but there's certain demons out there. I'm actually a survivor from very hard. Is that, is, is that not illegal? What's illegal? Right. Like, like, like shouting the Allah thing? Yeah. Allah! Right, Allah! Right, right, right. No. Is it, it's not illegal? It's not illegal. We're going to be dealing with it. Okay. So it is illegal? We're going to be dealing with it. You all right, boss? Can I ask what you're protesting today? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, yeah? While some worship Tommy Robinson. Others aren't so keen. Tommy Robinson! Fuck off our speech! Do you feel like there's a problem with migration in this country at the minute? No, never! They call people from Africa to come and work in the hospital. Without migration, the hospital will collapse. There's no way that migration is a problem in this country. Racism has no place in this society. We will stamp it out. Coming from South Africa, we defeat the apartheid system. Here again, we will defeat the racism, the fascist, in this country. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I have a message for Stephen Yaxley Lennon and a bunch of far right, Andrew Tate loving, self hating, incel movement preaching, sad, small, and nasty demonstrators in Trafalgar Square. You are not welcome in our communities. It is not migrant workers, it is not people fleeing persecution who are the enemies of the working class in this country. It is the capitalist state, the billionaires who own the press, who own the politicians. And our communities must fight back. So comrades, a message to Tommy Robinson and all the fascists. There is more of us than there are of you. We ain't going anywhere. No pass around. Are you 
Okay, I just wanted to ask where you feel opposed to the protest today. Oh, uh, I've just been to the Tommy Robinson protest. I'm for what they are doing for Tommy Robinson, not for the LGBT. Okay, and can I ask you the reason for that? Just personal reasons, sir. We grew but up in England. Yeah. You grew up in England? Yeah. yeah. So, so I was born here as well? Yeah, yeah I accept yeah, you, sir. I accept you. So, so I'm do not you, against you at all. What is your opinion about the, the migrant situation at the Please. moment? It's I, robbing my children's future. I haven't it's got robbing opinion, me really. of a doctor's appointment. It's robbing my children of being able to buy a house. Yeah. That's what it's robbing, mate. That's all I've got to say. No, okay. I mean, uh, anyone who's born in Britain deserves yeah. to be British or English. You know, I'm born here. I've got Irish descent. Yeah. Uh, I don't don't see colour or nothing. It's not about racism. You just want to close the borders. Yes, yeah. Close the borders, mate. That's yeah. All. That's all. Yeah. You know, like, uh, we look after her and say, uh, thanks for, yeah. thanks for coming. Enough enough. No, no, nothing wrong with that. Shake your hand, mate. Yeah, shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, man. Like this couple, many people are worried that the government is prioritising migrants over natives. One serious example is the story of Alfred Gwynigal. Alfred is 98 years old, World War II D Day veteran. He was served a no fault eviction notice. But when you've got these um, migrants coming across the borders and they're getting free four star hotels and food and accommodated, we should put our veterans first. There's 30,000 veterans homeless on the street. I can't see a future. I've got nothing to look forward to. Let's get Tom in. Come on, Tom. A 77 year old veteran, right? He did, he did the 10 mile hike for Alfred Grenegal, and this is a 75 year old veteran, 77 now? 77. This 77 year, year yeah. old veteran that, that came came all the way from, where do you live Tom? Manchester. Manchester, Manchester to Pembroke, which is probably <laughs> six, seven hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, and five he, hours. He traveled all the way down, and he did that 10 mile hike to, to serve this guy, Alfred Grenegal, and we raised almost 13, 14 grand, and we got him housed. This is what us veterans do, on behalf of the PTSD Camp Bath. Why did you do it? Me? Because of, um, well, basically because I'm in, I was an ex-veteran and I believe that the veterans should be housed. Absolutely. So for some reason, the police have decided to block off the weather spoons, whether there's been an incitement of hatred or violence. There is a rise from Weatherspoons. The police have decided to block it off. You lads seem quite passionate. Can I ask no, you? Can, no, I, can you... I ask you about your opinion about this protest? Yeah, yeah you can, yeah. But like, not him. He's too drunk. Yeah, yeah. Sounds. You what? Can what? Ask me. What was it? What's it? Mm. You are not allowed in front of any camera. Yeah. You f off of them two, yeah. Yeah. Say, bro, yeah. Too fucking drunk to talk. So, so can I ask you what you think about this uh, this protest today? Honestly, I don't really have any opinions. Um, I just think it's trying to add vitriol into the melting pot. Yeah. You know, we were just sat here having a pint and they come past, come past Colin's Nazi scum. I was just having a pint. So, so they're, they're, they're trying to act like the good guys, but you, you feel offended yeah, by and, their and actions. You know a lot of us actually care about what's going on with their children getting bombed in Palestine and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, very, it's a very nuanced thing. It's not white and black. It's not simple. A lot of simple people want to make it white and black, but it's very nuanced. There's a lot of grey areas. But, um, you know, me personally, like, I've got opinions on the way that Israel has retaliated. Obviously, it's, 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 it's overkill. Um, but I'm not standing with people that support Hamas. Yeah. And what you actually find in these protests is the majority of people that don't even know Hamas until f***ing 10 months ago. I was just standing there and a few people Hamas and yet they're not in their reds. Yeah. They don't even, they ain't got a clue what they're actually like in that march for. They're just simpletons that want to follow uh, a movement. Yeah. Okay? And when you follow a movement, it's almost cultish-like, yeah? You lose, the, you lose the agency of yourself and you just shout at random people on the street. You know, look at me, do I look white? You know? I'm not even English, but I'm proud to be born in Britain. Yeah. You know, we have rich values. And God forbid we ever have shit here alone. Okay. Thank you, good sir. Cheers, man. I'll give you a good How are you uh, finding it England so far? Yeah. How is England? Bad. Bad? Why is it bad? Because uh, free Palestine. Free Palestine, but how does that make England bad? 
because I want free Palestine. But I don't understand, like, how does that make England bad? Because I think, in my opinion, that Palestine should be free. Okay. But he's talking about the government more than the people. You can see the people of the UK is for free Palestine, against racism, against fascism. We don't welcome that here because the UK today is one of the most diverse as a, one of the most diverse community in the world right now. So we don't welcome racism. And the reason why Britain is so successful right now is because of the diversity of the migrants, the refugees coming here, bringing all sorts of different skills to make United Kingdom a successful country. So we are against any racism, any fascism, and any movement that's, again, the Palestinian movement is showing that it's a racist movement. Okay, so it's the government, not the people. It's the, the people are for people are for peace, you know, and un, un, unity of the world. So the government currently is not speaking up against racism. They are actually encouraging racism, and we don't welcome that. And we don't want that. We, it doesn't represent us, the working class. Okay, thank you. Goy, can I ask your opinion, bro? Yeah, you can ask my opinion. So, yeah. so why do you oppose the protest, bro? I'm not opposing it, bruv, yeah. Well, let's see, I've been, I've been to, there's a march in London, yeah, about Britain, yeah, and then the next thing I know, I'm gonna go, go and get the train, I'm walking around the corner, and like, I never knew it's happening, it's happening, yeah? And it's like, so what have we done? Why, why, who, who, are they, uh, who are they opposing? Why are they chanting? They're opposing like, Tommy Robinson. So why? I don't know why. Exactly, exactly why. In their own, in their own country, it's like, it's okay, I'm just wondering, innit? No, I mean, seriously. I was no, just no, asking no, no, his opinion. Yeah, yeah, we just the question, yeah. It's so, you know, police, don't do the police, innit? I said, yeah, like, sure like, why, why, do, why do they oppose, like, our country? What do you mean? No. It's our country, we invite everyone here, and it's like, so why why they got a problem with us, innit? Yeah. That's what so, I'm saying, innit? So, so a lot of people at the protest are in support of open borders. How do you feel about that? No, no, but we, we've welcomed people into our country, yeah, before I was born, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, I, was, I, mean, I was born up in 78, yeah, right? And yeah. I mean, we had the police, we had the fucking, yeah, I, I, I'm all up there, yeah? yeah? All it is, the big, the big deal now, I feel, yeah, is the illegals coming in, too many, too many, too many, too many, yeah? yeah. Causing all the dramas and all, and all the criminal offences, and we can't do nothing about it. Yeah. So now they're saying it's fine. That's how I feel. I'm just saying, like, so, like, if the border open, what do you think is going to happen, man? It's already open. Yeah. It's already open with the boats, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's already open, isn't it? You know? It's already open. There's no stopping it here. And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah. And when I say worse and worse and worse, yeah, it's bad enough already. When these people realise, yeah, okay, they encourage you. Yeah, we're like, I'm not racist, yeah, we're not, no one's racist. We get, we get classes out, I know that, yeah? yeah. But these people are like, yeah, bring more, bring more, bring more. It's like, you ask one of these people holding all these welcome refugees if they can put one up in their house. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, I got no room. No, 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 no. They don't want to do that. They don't. Yeah, man. Be a big up to yourself, man. Thank, anyway, thanks uh, for yeah. your opinion, bro, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I'm at the... I'm at the English... English watch. Man's on, man's on the vlog.
In the days following the rally, several protesters were arrested. To some comments that you've made on a Facebook page. And the head of the movement, Tommy Robinson, fled the country amidst growing tensions. Then a major incident, a stabbing in Southport, triggered a wave of riots across the country, with unrest on a scale not seen in British streets for years. To get a fuller picture of the crisis, I spent the next week travelling across the UK interviewing migrants and visiting areas with the highest migrant populations. Well, just, well, why are you coming we'll up talk in my face for? We'll I, I just asked him a question. Man. Yeah, well, well, I've told you what's happening, so well, please. Well, why are you getting in my face for, bro? Bro, listen, I'm not being what's bad, going on? You, just, you just came up in my face, like, what, Mate, what I've are asked you doing? Why, why we're serving homeless people, please, yeah. please, to be respectful, that's Yeah, but what, what are you approaching me? Because you want and you're putting that over there. And yeah, I'm, 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 I'm filming it's now, recording. yeah, because, because it, I'm filming now because he just approached me. I was not filming anyone. You came up to me, you asked if it was filming. Now I'm filming for my personal safety, bro, yeah? But please don't film us. I wasn't filming, he came up to me, so I started filming for my safety. Oh, Dio. You're trying to ask some people some questions, and then the man just starts getting aggressive. F***ing okay, no. hell. Which country are you from? I'm Ethiopia. I'm from Ethiopia. Ethiopia? Yeah. Okay. What what was the reason that you come to this country? Is for asylum or you want to work? Asylum seeker. Asylum. The problem is uh, uh, political uh, and uh, uh, religion issue. Yeah. Political and religious issue in Ethiopia. Yeah. yeah. So like, what what do you hope uh, to happen here? Like, what do you want from England? No, no, no. I'm homeless now. You're homeless? Yeah, yeah, long term homeless. That's why my problem. I'm, we sleep there. Yeah, before I'm uh, living in a home. Yeah. I have work. I have, I have a job. Yeah. I have uh, everything. That's why. Uh, well, what What happened? I lost my document, work paper. Uh, uh, that's why. You know? So you lost your documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the people think, like the British public think that uh, migrants, you know, they get everything given to them and, you know, you, you don't have to work and you can have all the benefits and stuff. Is, it, is that, obviously in your case, that's not true, right? Like when you, when you came to England, did the government just give you house, give you benefits, give you everything? Like, did they do that? Yeah, yeah, universal credit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before stop now, not this problem. You don't have bank card also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If this Monster Bank lost a big problem also, you don't have a uh, bank in Uganda. Yeah. This is online bank, that's problem <laughs> also. Okay. Bank, yeah. yeah, and what's your name, boss? My, uh, my name is Dave. Dave. Also, uh, I have uh, suggest something. This online bank is problem in this country. Problem. O online bank because, is problem. Uh, uh, because you, you don't you, you need an office, you know. You need an office, because, like uh, address. Yeah, yeah, in place, a specific place. Because you have problem, you go and ask place. Uh, my. Online bank like Monzo, no, yeah, yeah. no help. So just 
this problem. No help, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how long have you been living in uh, the UK? Um, it's become two days. We are coming new year. New year? Uh, new. We are coming new year. This hotel, uh, three days. Okay, so you've only been in the UK three days? Yeah. Wow, okay. How do you like it so far, mate? Mm, you can uh, basically we do not see the any UK other place. Yeah. We, first of all, we look this place. Bristol is very nice place. Yeah. So we are seeing around in this place, and the people is very good. Okay. Yeah, and this very hospitality people. Okay. So you like it so far? Yeah. Like more. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, what made you want to come to the UK? Like, what, what was the reason? Why did you want to come to UK? Because the UK is the best country in yeah. all European country. Because Euro, UK is very good. Okay. So that's why there is uh, our Afghan people is more coming there. It's, uh, we, we, they will give more. Uh, I don't know. More help and everything okay. they will give it okay like how did how did you know that this was a good country did you see online or like what? Did, did, so, did someone tell you did someone tell you it's like a good country or yeah it's uh, good country oh, yeah, this is the water uh, <laughs> <laughs> no like did your friends tell you this is a good country or what what was the reason like because uh, if there is no problem so why can we become this country yeah. So that's why we have a problem I cannot share with the front of camera. So that's why it's my personal matter. Oh, okay. uh, sorry for that. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, what do you think the general public, like, uh, uh, how has the general public been to you? They've been, like, welcoming? It's uh, very good uh, seeing for us. Yeah. It's coming, welcome to the UK. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, mate. And do you, what do you want to do for work here? What do you want to do for like a job? Uh, now we don't have a permission for job. Uh, when uh, we will come to be settlement and give a residency permit for work, and then we will see the job. Okay. Yeah. What What do you want to do? What's like your your dream uh, job? <laughs> we will do. Uh, uh, now I don't see the work there. Now we become new there. When I, we will see when the, the, our documents come to me, uh, we will check the work, so which work is good there. Okay. Any, any final thoughts? Any anything you want to say? People uh, in Afghan might watch this. You know, or any last words? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. What is the reason that you came here, man? Um. I came into this, this country um, because life was difficult um, back there when I used to live there and um, I think there's no money and there's nothing to do, there's no work, there's nothing and um, I needed to survive, I needed to make a living, I needed to feed families as well, like yeah, I've got a lot of people counting on me which I got to do and the main reason why I left there is because like, um, there, um, there are wars going on as well and um, lack of um, unemployment and everything so and there's no means for me to to um to to, to get on 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 the plane or nothing so um there's to be a boat um that go on the sea so i think that's the only way i could um uh, that's the only way i could i could get to this country what would you say like the the response from the local community has been towards you um the local response for the community like they don't they don't want people like 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 me in this country that's what that, i think that's the thing they're thinking like um you might be a he might be a killer he might be a criminal so every everywhere like when you when, when you're trying to work around and, and they see people like me they say like like you see i'm going this way and and, and they're going the other side of the way like scared of me and, and the, that, they're scared of you yeah they're scared of me and i feel like that's really 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 sad i feel like um 
But I really don't have a choice though. Like I just I've just decided to just come here, um to just have a living, not to not to cause issue, not to cause trouble for anyone. So I just wanna live my life. I I hope the government could, could see that and they could and they could do something about that as well. Like we we just want a normal life in this country. We're not here for problems or to cause any trouble to the country. Um, Fair enough man. So so what would you like um what would you like to be different from the government, from the local people? Like, how how would you prefer to live? You know, I prefer to like I prefer to have a normal job, to do have a normal job as 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 a normal person. Like, I I would want to pay tax as well, but you know, I think you can't even do that like without without a name, like without anything. You don't have a fingerprint like to come in on this country, so anything's not registered, so you can't have a job. So I'm just living on this street, like trying, trying to survive. As I reflect on the events and the stories I've encountered, one thing becomes clear. While our nation grapples with the migrant crisis, those who've built this country, our veterans, our vulnerable citizens, are often left behind. Grassroots efforts like the PTSD camp show how much of a difference we can make, but it's not enough. I believe we, as citizens should have more of a say in how our taxes are spent. Before we look outward, we must first look after our own, ensuring that those who've given so much to this country are prioritised. Even as we assist those seeking refuge, it's time to find a balance that reflects both compassion and responsibility. I wanted to say like I, I appreciate what you do for people and stuff, so I wanted to make like a little donation. There's a hundred pound for you. Wow. Thank you very much. You <laughs> fucking cunts on social media! You get out there and you fucking tell them! You fucking tell them! <laughs> oh! <laughs>